Jukumu Lako is an initiative where we reach out to kids from informal settlements. I was in a season where I was depressed, attempted suicide twice, it failed, and God took me on a mission. And when I was there, God spoke to me and he told me, Ben, you're worrying about windows and I've always opened doors for you. And God told me that you want to kill yourself and yet I've given you so much love. I've shown you so much love. And there are a lot of people out there that need to be shown the same, same love. So coming back in, October, in August 2018, I went out and did research from the informal settlement around my area in Hamza. And we realized that there's a very huge gap where kids have parents who are physically present but emotionally absent, simply because most of them have engaged into drugs and substance abuse. So we thought of how can we bridge this gap yeah, and reach out to these young people. So we started by bringing kids together uh, through film. We did movies uh, with like a projector. We started with around 50 kids that time. And then we went on and on every month and started to do uh, food in between. Uh, we started to do uh, manicure, pedicure, where we cut their nails. And the reason we do all these things is to intentionally also pray and interact with these kids. So once you're cutting their nails, you're praying for those kids. You're asking them where they're coming from and also praying with them. So how we do Jukumulako, we have a team of volunteers people that have we have the same vision and the same heart of reaching out for the kingdom and we we put ourselves together every month to come up with a budget of food and everything and then we start to raise money through whatsapp group we have a whatsapp group where someone will just pick a tomato we say we have picked tomato someone says i'm picking onion someone else is saying i'm picking uh cooking oil, I'm picking rice, I'm picking beef, I'm picking chapatis, and then we end up uh, uh, meeting our budget. The reason we do soup kitchen is because it is hard for kids even to concentrate while on an empty stomach. And food is a tool that we use to bring these kids together. And from where they're coming from, there are even those that go even a day without having food. The reason we do kinyozi is to grow their self-esteem as as children. Once they go to school, they feel like they are equal to others who are uh, at least privileged. And and also to to bring proper hygiene into their lives and also sanitation to some to some extent. Yeah. We've been doing Jukumu for the last three years. Now we are turning four. We'll be turning four years in 20th October 2022. And the experience has been awesome. But it is not easy as well. There are times where we've, 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 we've not met our budget and it's on a Friday evening and the, 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 the event is happening the following day. But I've always reminded them that this is not your work. Just keep on trusting God. We reached out to, within a month, more than 4,000 kids in different schools and we gave each of them care packs food to take home and we gave over 250 kids uh, school shoes, toughies and a lot of, <clears throat> there was a lot of impact in terms of even those kids believing in us coming into their spaces. For that person who is struggling with accepting and being in a space where they need to move on whatever God is asking them to do. This is what I'll tell you, that's your original design. And that we've always, all we've been created for one purpose, for God's kingdom. And whether you like it or not, in, in, in first Jonah, Jonah was given a word, he refused. And then uh, Jonah chapter three says that God had not changed his mind about Jonah. So the same way God has not changed his mind about you. So whatever original design that God made you, He's gonna make sure you do it and he's ready. My name is Ben Waimani and I am fearless.